But, but let me come to Robin Hunter Clark, the UKIP candidate here in Boston uh, and Skeg next. Now, a Comres poll the other day put you behind the no, Conservatives no, in a number of key seats. No, you know where I'm going with this no. in Boston and Skegness. Is buy. the UKIP bubble starting to burst? No, it's not at all. We're on track to win this seat. It's looking very good. People are sick to death of false promises that the Conservative Party have promised us over the years. They're not delivering on what the people of this town want. I'm born here. I'm bred here. This is my home. It's not his home. It's my home. People here want change. People want their say on the European Union. They're not, they're not going to get that by voting Conservative. I was a member of the Conservative Party in 2009 when David Cameron gave us that cast iron guarantee that if he became Prime Minister we were going to have one. We didn't get that. The only way to get it is by getting enough UKIP MPs into Parliament and hopefully I will be one of them if the people of, this, uh, people of these two towns vote for me on May the 7th. David Watts, you're the Liberal Democrat candidate here. Now, you're a councillor in Nottinghamshire. What do you know about the problems here in Boston and Skegness? Well, I'm not a local. I can't pretend to be a local. With one particular issue, because the outgoing Conservative MP here, Mark Simmons, who's stepping down, you may have read this in the, the papers a few months ago, said that uh, one of the reasons he was leaving the job is because he couldn't afford to be an MP anymore. The £67,000 a year salary wasn't enough. Did he hopelessly misjudge the public mood? Well, frankly, I think yes is the answer to that question. We've been through very tough times as a nation over the last five years. We're turning this country round. We're on the right track under a Conservative-led government. No one wants to hear MPs whinging about how much they get paid. Does anyone think the MP's salary is too much or well, not enough? He was getting a lot more than that. He was a junior minister, the Minister for Overseas Territories. You know, this man sponsored a radio show at Pilgrim Hospital and then claimed it back off the taxpayer. Pe people want something different, not the old establishment parties. They want something new, they want something different. That's why we did so well in the county elections in 2013. That's why we won in this area in the European elections. And that's why I believe the people have faith in us. I think also, Tim, I think, also, Tim, I think one of the big issues... So, Robin hunter Clark. You've heard there, Tory pledged to deliver an in out referendum. Will that solve the, the issues around immigration? I think it will. If we, well, if we certainly, uh, we cannot control immigration until we leave the European Union, but we're not going to get the referendum. It's all a con. The only way to get it, as I've already said, is to get enough UKIP MPs in the House of Commons so we can force the next government to hold one. We can't do all these reforms on immigration. As you just said, the Tories have failed. They haven't got the numbers down. Net immigration running at around 300,000. Under UKIP's proposals to adopt an Australian style system, we'll be getting it somewhere between 30 to 50. 50,000, which is returning to normality prior to 2004. This isn't a radical policy. This is returning back to normality on the subject. All right, Rob, Robin hunter Clark. you look around Boston, there are many new businesses here, people paying tax, employing staff. There is some, migration there is, there has been good, good for this town, hasn't there it? There is good immigration here, but there are all... What's there bad also, immigration? There is also bad immigration. People coming here and claiming benefits and taking jobs from people and but the pressure on local risk, services. It is, it is happening in this town, but we've reality. got to get a grip on the numbers. That's the point. Um, and, and that's the only, the only part that can deliver that is you, Kip, as I've already said. I, I, so if UKIP's point system came in and unskilled migrants didn't come to this country, who would do the jobs? In the fields, in the pack houses policy, that English people don't want to do? It's quite clear that we offer jobs to local people first and foremost, and if we can't fill jobs, which undoubtedly well, we may not be Why are local people doing those jobs right now? Because they can't get the work, because they're going, they, it's a lot cheaper because for them. Because their wages employers. are being undercut, is that what you wages, wages are being compressed by migrant labour coming into this town. What I'm suggesting is we, well, that we offer local jobs to local people first, something the Tories cannot do. While we're a member of the European Union, they're campaigning to stay in, even if there is a referendum. And what I'm saying is if there are vacancies, undoubtedly there will be. Then we open those jobs up to the whole of the world on, work permit base, on a work permit basis system like they do in Australia. That's fair, less discriminatory than the current policy, and that's what UKIP would do. So you'll have the same number of people no. from, uh, from around the world here. Local people, believe it or not, Matt, they'll actually want to do those but jobs. You might not realise that, here but there are. Hang on, hang on, they don't are. talk over yeah. each other. Yeah. David Watts. Unemployment here is lower than the national average. If people were struggling to get jobs, it would be higher. Well, Your figures just don't make well, sense. I don't trust Your policy don't just doesn't make sense. So you you, you talk to the people on the ground. You don't live here. You know nothing about us. I'm sorry. I love you. Speak. I got Nigel Farage a few weeks ago said that the reason kids don't play out in the street, play football here in Boston, is because of immigration. Do you agree with that? There is a lack of cultural cohesion in this town. That is evident. There is. And, what, and that's because of the sheer numbers of people that have entered one town at, at one point in time. If, people are, if, if, if we control immigration, people integrate into society. And under our proposals, that's what would happen. That's what's happened for decades.
cause of all social evils. You're demonising migrants? Not at all, no. There's some people here that have come over from Eastern Europe working very hard paying into the system. Do, football, do you have friends who are migrants? Yes, I do, absolutely. But the point is we've got to get a grip on the numbers. That's all it's about. It's nothing to do with race. It's nothing to do with nationality. It's the sheer numbers of people that we have to control. You don't call uh, Australia a racist country because they control their borders. That's all we want to do. It's quite simple. We Robin Hunter Clark, UKIP. Well, I'm born and bred in this constituency. I know the area. I know the issues. Don't be conned by the old established parties. Let's vote for something different. Let's vote for change. Vote for UKIP on May the 7th.